this is Dr. Nilda Perez and today I want to talk to you about integrity in business. Several years ago I co-authored Entrepreneur Extraordinaire and in my portion of the book I discuss values and ethics and integrity in business. Business Dictionary defines integrity as a strict adherence to moral code. It is transparent in complete honesty and in complete harmony with what one thinks or feels. Dr. Bruce Winston, professor at Egypt University School of Business and Leadership, states that integrity equals love. In his book, Be a Leader for God's Sake, Dr. Winston states that the Greek term for love for an employee, a client, or vendors is agapao, which defines moral love, doing the right thing for the right reason. In the Greek language, they have several variations for the word love. Agapao loves defines loving in a moral and social sense. Unfortunately, the English language only has one word for love. So you can love pizza and love your parents with the same word. When you agapao love your staff, your clients, and your vendors, you get better results from them. The idea of integrity in business must begin with the premise that staff are people first. They are people with physical, mental, and spiritual needs. They need to be extended compassion, understanding, and sincerity. It is true that today's employees lack loyalty to companies and leaders, but much of this comes from their lack of faith in their leadership. Agapao love in business transcends the belief of employee as hired help to hired heart. Too often, business leaders only pretend to care about those they work with and about the performance and the innovative ideas that employees bring to the company. However, they lack a consistent relationship with their employees by not following up with the things they promised. This kind of faulty leadership is usually at the core of employees' disloyalty and distrust in their leadership. And this represents flawed integrity. A leader that is open and honest shows true integrity. Most employees are not looking for perfect leaders. They're just looking for leaders of integrity that they can trust. Apologizing for mistakes and admitting that you don't always have it all together makes your followers see the human side of you. Your children, your employees, your clients are all willing to forgive if you admit that you don't have it all together. This encourages them to be actively involved in their jobs, not just do their job, but actually participate as part of the solution. It gives employees the sense of belonging to an imperfect but cohesive team. This type of integrity is not typically experienced by employees. This informational age is fast paced and it does not allow for a lot of time to stop and take breaks and bond and develop camaraderie. It takes effort and time to express agapao love through Chapman's five languages of love in the workplace. Expressing genuine appreciation to staff, increased loyalty to employees, reduce cynicism, creating a positive work environment, improving your ability to appreciate even those difficult colleagues, and fifth, conveying the language of appropriate physical touch. These five languages of love coincide directly with Dr. Winston's theory on agro-power love. Both these theories are a great foundation for integrity in business, but integrity in business goes beyond doing the right thing. It takes a concerted effort to build relationships with employees no matter how far they are. Taking the time to honor and respect them will produce for you high dividends, not only financially, but even in the environment. And acknowledging that you need them so that you can all succeed. They need to trust that your success is their success. Gaining this kind of trust from your employees makes you an effective leader. Integrity in business is like a pebble in the pond. It begins with the leader and it continues to ripple over. So here's today's takeaway. Integrity is defined as a commitment to moral codes, reflected in honesty and openness. It can be defined through the Greek word agapao, defined as moral love, doing the right thing at the right time for the right reason. Having integrity in business means you understand that your staff are people with physical, mental, and spiritual needs. Many business leaders lack connection and pretend to care about employees. This causes employee distrust and is a clear example of flawed integrity. Apologizing for making mistakes and showing your employees the human side of you builds employee confidence in your ability to lead. Having integrity in business is a concerted effort to build a solid relationship between you and your employees. I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, rate, comment, and subscribe. We will be releasing new videos every week, so 
subscribe to stay updated. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video.